So we have rising UI 1.3.1 which is based on Android 13 and having the August security patch. The last video I made on rising UI was 1.3 which was having the July security patch and after using 1.3.1 of course there are no major changes but some things are still there. So we're going to talk about all of those things in this video. Stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. This could be the last update before the Android 14 or maybe they will still bring you Android 13 some updates with the security patches but we don't know because Android 14 stable is coming very very soon. With this version 1.3.1 we have the custom quick settings header image option available. Previously there were quick setting header images we have approximately 75 header images and these were available previously too but with this new update now we have the option for custom quick settings header image so you can select the local image for example if you have any image in gallery you want to put it as your quick settings header image you can it's totally up to you. This was the first change which is available in the quick settings which is named as quick settings custom quick settings header images. Secondly, we have spoofing options. For example, the previous options were Netflix spoof, unlimited photo storage, unlock higher FPS in games. But in this one, we have Google camera spoof option available. One thing keep in mind, this feature will only work for the Google Pixel devices. If you have Google Pixel devices, if you have any of the Google Pixel device, this feature should work for you, which will simply spoof your device as Pixel 7 Pro to unlock some Google camera features. Of course, some features require hardware compatibility. So it depends upon which device you are using. Including this one, if you move on to the other miscellaneous options, you will be able to notice floating rotate button. This is quite useful in some cases, for example, if you did not enable the auto rotate feature, auto rotate option in the settings, then this feature is available here for you. We also have the hide IME button space option available, including this one. We also have this new recent panel, which includes one new feature named as split screen. Split screen was available previously too, but in this case, now you have the option, you have that icon available at the bottom where you can simply click and you can use any app in the split screen if you use split screen on a device. If you do multitasking, as you can see, clear all, screenshot, all these options are present. Although the split screen option was already available by clicking on the app icon, but now at the bottom center, you already have the split screen icon available which is very good and this is available by default. You do not have to enable it from settings or etc. This is already enabled. Another change is we have the less boring heads of feature available. I'm actually not sure about that because I'm not sure if this feature was available previously or not. But with this new update, they included this in the change log. So I thought I shall share this with you. But we have show clipboard overlay feature available which is very nice because you can simply disable this thing whenever you copy anything you will always you always prompted with that overlay at the left bottom but in this case if you disable this option that thing will not be there these are the some major changes by the way if you move on to the about options you will be able to notice we have the current change log available so if you want to know the version which you are using if that includes the features or not you can check out the change log by the way, Rising UI is one of those custom home which brings you insane number of customizations and including, of course, some of the devices. Uh, updates are quite stable, by the way. So that is not the case that this custom home is not stable. We have some lock screen clock customizations too. Lock screen clocks changing style is quite amazing. It's kind of unique and not available in must much, I mean, most of the custom homes. Some of the custom home brings you this one, but not every. We have options in miscellaneous like that Google services, which you can disable. Parallel space is also quite useful. We have spoofing related options. We have other miscellaneous options. Notifications already have the retigger notifications, the feature which is available in most of the custom rooms right now. Clear all button, quick settings customizations. You already know quick settings customizations include the options named as one more thing. Let me show you. We have the quick settings UI Android 11 style quick settings panel is also optional. If you want to use that option, you can. It's totally up to you. Other options, I mean the features or etc. what are available and the previous version changes like 1.3, the nothing UI kind of UI introduced. I made a video already already on those versions. You can go and check it out. Thanks for watching and goodbye.